I'm sure you guys must have heard about Volumax script which is a revolutionary 3D photo animator using which you can add some crazy three dimensional looks and movement to your static photos. So the maker of Volumax 3D have created yet another amazing after effects script called Parallaxer. This script allows you to add some awesome parallax effect to your flat illustrations and turn them into 2.5D parallax animations. Plus the auto scale feature saves you a lot of time by letting you move your layers in depth without changing their sizes in the image. And all this in just a few clicks. So let's jump into After Effects and explore Parallaxer and see what it has to offer. Alright, so before we jump into After Effects, first we need to prepare our scene in order to make it work properly with the Parallaxer. So here I have a very nice illustration scene and I have divided this scene into different segments on different layers. For example, I have this person sitting on the chair with the laptop on a different layer. I have this person sitting on the beanbag on a different layer. I have this vase on a different layer and so forth. Right. And one thing that you need to keep in mind is the layer on the top is going to be closer to the camera and the layer at the bottom is going to be further away from the camera. So once you divide your scene into different layers, all you have to do is press Ctrl S to save the scene. Now let's jump into After Effects. I'm going to import the scene. So double click here. I have my illustration scene in the import as I'm going to set this as composition retain layer sizes. Press OK, click on import. Now let's import this composition and here we have our scene. Let's let me go into windows and launch the Parallaxer script. OK, I can dock it wherever that I want. I'm going to place it right here. Now all I have to do is click on Parallaxer. In this case, I'm going to select the medium scene. Now it says to create two different views so we can easily adjust or make any changes that we want. So I'll press OK and go right here and set this to two views. So the second view is my top view and if I zoom out, you can see here we have all the layers already separated on different dimensions. So if I select them all, you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about, right? So now what I can do is I can select my camera. I'll make some room right here. I can select my camera by pressing C and I can move it however that we want. And you can see we get this really nice parallax effect. So I can even ma make maybe a movement like so and add a nice animation and it looks very, very cool. So there are a number of different things that you can do with this thing. And if you mess up, you can just simply click on reset camera. So it's going to reset the position. Now there are also these three functions that we can use. Now let's say if I want to change the Z spacing amount between these three layers, I can do that easily by using the minus and the plus button. So you can simply click minus to bring them closer to each other and press plus to increase the distance and press flat button to bring all the layers into one single position. There are no changes in this particular area. It's going to optimize it automatically. So for example, if I, let's say if I select this and move this person wherever that I want, and it's going to stay in my camera so we can easily move it. So something like that, maybe so I can select this and adjust my scene. However, that we want, so it doesn't mess up my camera. So I'm going to place this person closer to the camera, select this vase and bring that even closer to the camera like so. All right. So once you're happy with this, I can click on bake. Boom. We are now ready to animate. So I can close the top view if I want to, or you can just keep it as it is. Now what we can do is animate our camera however that we want. So I'll press P to bring down the position and let's go to maybe around two seconds and select our camera tool. I'll select the zoom one and I can zoom it like so. Pretty cool. Now what I'm going to do is select the camera, go into layer camera settings and I like to work in one node camera. You can of course work with two node if you want to and select the camera hit U so we can see the keyframe on the position. Let's go to around three seconds and by selecting the camera tool, I can zoom in into the scene like that. I can make any framing that I want. So I'll place it maybe somewhere around like so. And now here we have a really nice movement as you can see. 
so this is just a basic example of how parallaxer works it's super easy to use and the results that we can achieve using this is incredible so let's now create a bit more complex scene here so what i'm going to do is let's go back and get rid of the ski frame i'm going to delete that so this is the first frame of our scene I'll select the camera and press P to bring down the position. So here we have a keyframe. Now I want to move my camera to this particular person to bring him in focus. So I'll move right here, maybe around one second should be fine. And I'll select the camera tool and I can just simply bring her in focus, not him. So I'll move the position maybe like so fine. I think I'll increase the size of the background so it doesn't get cropped up. Okay. And now I want the focus to be only on this person. Now, because we are working with 3d layers, I can select the camera layer, go into camera options and turn on depth of field and adjust the focus distance. So you can see right here in the right side, I'm adjusting the focus distance to be on this person. And then I can increase the aperture really high like so. So now what I'll do is I'll create a keyframe on the aperture. And I'll go at the very start and set this to zero. So now everything is in focus. And as soon as we move right here, so only this particular person stays in focus. Then I'll go to one second and 15 frames and let's select the camera and press U so we can see only the keyframes. Let's create another keyframe right here. Go to maybe somewhere around two second and 15 frames and let's move to a different person right here. Let's zoom in, adjust the framing the way we want. Okay. And now I'll adjust the aperture as well. So I'll go right here again, create a keyframe. Let's actually change the focus distance. So I'll create a keyframe on the focus distance. I'll go right here and let's adjust the focus distance to be on the person. Okay. Perfectly from this person to this person. And now finally, after staying there for 15 frames, maybe. I'll create a keyframe for the focus distance as well. I'll go to four seconds and let's change the framing to the third person that we have here like so. All right. So that is looking nice. Now let's adjust the focus distance and there we go. Okay. So that is looking nice. Now I can select the camera, press U so we can see all the keyframes and I'm going to select all the keyframes. You can press F9 to easy ease them. I'm going to go into keyframe assistant and easy ease them. I can go into the graph editor and tweak them just to make the movement look a bit more interesting. So I'll just tweak them a little bit like so. So now let's preview this. Let's see what we have. Okay, so that is looking quite nice. I think it's a bit too fast. So I'll select all the keyframes, hold alt and drag them like so. So our scene is animating for around five seconds. And using this technique, you can create some really nice explainer videos. You can even add movement to your characters as well. So I think this is looking really nice. Now, one last thing that I want to do is I want to add a nice camera movement so that it looks much more uh, organic. So I'll create a new null object. Okay, I'm going to call this movement and make it 3D layer and then parent the camera to this null object, select the null object, press P to bring down the position and let's add a very simple wiggle expression. So hold alt and click on the stopwatch. Let's type in wiggle, open and close parentheses. Let's go with something like, I don't know, maybe um, let's go with 1.5 comma 20. So now a camera will have a little bit of handheld feel to it, which looks very, very nice. And there you go. This is how you can create some really interesting scenes using the Parallaxer script. And as you saw, it just took us a few minutes and yeah, you can create as complex scene as you want. You can add different kinds of camera animations as you want. And I think this is a super amazing script, especially for creating some really interesting explainer videos. Now, if you wish to create complex 3D parallax movement using photos, then I would recommend using Volumax. 
as it's a bit more advanced to create parallax animations in After Effects, you can find the link to both the scripts in the description below. And that was all for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do let me know in the comment section below and make sure to leave a like before you go. You can also follow me on Instagram at dope.motions and Nikhil Pawar. And if you're feeling generous, please do support us on Patreon as well. With that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.